Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here welcome back to a brand new video today we'll be talking about the latest updates related to Strato Emulator Android which is going to be releasing pretty soon because today we have some exclusive gameplays of Strato Emulator a tester has released some early gameplays which we can take a look at and talk about the improvements the features performance etc what to expect of Strato Emulator Android but before starting a huge shout out to Easy on the Eyes for providing the gameplays so right here is a playlist of Strato Emulator developer testing where we have four gameplays to start off we'll be checking out Pokemon tournament gameplay on Strato emulator android we also have rocket league as well as skyrim so that will be next but let's take a look at Pokemon tournament first now as i mentioned before at the top left corner of our screen we have the new fps bar as well as ram usage one big change between the skyline edge and Strato release prior to Strato, this game used to render with a color swap on models yep i remember that Pokemon tournament had a lot of graphical issues on skyline edge but whereas uh, in Strato emulator it's looking good but there are also some flickering issues which is to be expected as shadow emulators developer build has been tested not the official release we are seeing testing videos which means that strato emulator might be releasing very very soon to the public so let's talk about minimum requirements the minimum requirements will be similar to skyline emulator android 10 or above along with snapdragon 855 processor or above and uh, 6 to 8 gb of ram but to be honest as we have experienced in the past i have also tested out games like pokemon let's go pikachu on a snapdragon 660 processor android device on Skyline Emulator. Even if you have 4 to 6 GB of RAM, you should be able to play some small titles. And this is an improvement of Skyline Emulator, not a brand new emulator. So we already know what to expect from it. Let's take a look at Gengar vs Pikachu. Again, all the credits for this gameplay goes to Easy on the Eyes. There we go, the graphics look really well uh, compared to what we saw with Skyline Edge. I did make one or two videos on Pokemon Tournament on Skyline Edge, but most of the time, the FPS you get is pretty stable, like you see right here 60 FPS, but the graphics used to be messed up uh, we are seeing graphical improvements so i hope that tears of the kingdom should be playable on strato emulator anyways that's too much expectations let's take a look at skyrim gameplay on strato emulator android i am pretty hyped to see this uh in developer emulator gameplay subject to change uh yeah in future the gameplay will improve this is skyrim and the fps which i am seeing is not that impressive to be honest guys i mean 30 fps skyrim uh, i don't really know which phone is this tested on so uh, let's see Samsung S22 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor the game was prone to crashes before able to play the game for 30 minutes in a session yeah session means that without the emulator crashing it's able to play for 30 minutes with minimal frame drops or lag spikes which is pretty cool uh, and you can see at the top left corner we are getting straight up 30 fps now i have tried playing skyrim on skyline emulator in its old builds before the skyline edge was released and i remember this entire part used to be completely glitched due to graphical issues let's take a look at free roam gameplay and i do see a graphical issue right here but nonetheless the game is looking really really amazing uh, the performance part though it needs improvements as the developer mentioned uh, due to textman code the performance has been decreased but the graphical issues major graphical issues that is have been fixed in many games so i do hope before they release the emulator performance will be optimal or better than skyline and for people who have mali gpu they might be wondering if they will get even lower fps than what they used to get previously then the answer is no you guys are fine you will get good amount of fps few other games were also tested such as yuka Lely and rock Rocket League. Let's take a look at Rocket League gameplay. Now this game ran fabulously. As I remember, I tried playing it on Skyline Edge. Uh, it did have some graphical issues which I am seeing even in Strato Emulator Android. So I am guessing that before its public release there should be some optimization and bug fixes. These following scenes resemble more typical performance. So as I remember while playing Rocket League there were graphical issues. Uh, the FPS was pretty good though I can't complain on performance. It was indeed playable. Honestly speaking guys from what I see in this gameplay. I am not really that much blown away because there are so many graphical issues you can already see it on the screen. It's very hard to fix all the graphical issues from all games obviously. It will take time at least when there is an official build of Strato Emulator Android. It should be a bit more optimized obviously than what we are seeing right here. It should indeed have some better performance as well. I think in July Skyline Emulator project came to end stop and afterwards Strato Emulator was in development for the past 3 to 4 months. They managed to fix lot of issues. And and I'm really looking forward to this emulator. I think it will be worth the wait if the developers release this emulator by this month. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Strato emulator Android gameplays which we just saw. Is it good? Is it bad? Are you excited to see it release pretty soon? Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.